Welcome to the Fisheries and Oceans Monitoring application. First, we're going to show you how to add a new location. I'm logging in as myself, which is an administrator, so I will see all the tabs. When I first log in, I have to wait a moment for the window to resize. Then I can choose the study area, regulatory tool used, and many of the other features that I can fill out. Any of the features that have a asterisk, red asterisk, are required. First I'm going to zoom in. I've minimized the report panel. I'm going to zoom into Powell River. This way I can digitize or draw a point where the monitoring location should be. I'll center Powell River. Then I'll expand the report panel by clicking the downward button. Pick my UTM zone and digitize a point on the map. If you're unsure of your UTM zone, choose 10. You'll notice that by picking the UTM zone, you'll also get the latitude and longitude. The site visit date is automatically selected to today, but you can choose any date you wish. You can continue through the form, checking, selecting, typing, as you want. There are various tabs along the top, in-channel, off-channel, lacustrine, wetland, marine, intertidal and subtidal, riparian, and focused monitoring project. You do not have to save after entering data on each tab. They will be recorded when you hit save at the very bottom of the application. If the record was saved, you will see the record was added at the top of the page. When you pan the map, you will see the point appear. By hovering your cursor over top of the point you drew, or any point on the map, you can either view the records or edit the records. After saving your point, you will see that automatically the watershed will be calculated. The database finds out what latitude and longitude you clicked and will automatically update the database with the proper watershed. If you click the DFO monitor pane at the top and drill down into the DFO monitoring list and you are an administrator, you will see a large array of tabs at the top of the page. Each one of these represent a lookup table or drop-down list in the main monitoring form, such as sediment transport, features, import settings, and so on. As an administrator, you have control over all those drop-down lists. If you do not see them, you are either an editor or a viewer, and not an administrator. By clicking the magnifying glass, you can zoom in to any of the points that are already digitized. To zoom out, simply roll your mouse. To go back and edit that record, simply click the Edit button in the list and you can go back in and edit any of the data. When you click the DFO monitor list, automatically only the records you've created will be shown, although you can search for any. By clicking the Advanced Search, you will have access to all columns in the monitor table to search by. Some will have drop-down boxes for you to search. Some will just have text boxes. You can search for anything. Alternatively, you can search in the text box at the top of the screen. For example, I wanted to search for anything called Holly. And this will search any column whatsoever for the word Holly. In this case, it found the referral title as Holly Test Project. If you need access to the site or you just have some questions, contact Brad Mason at the DFO or myself, Gordon Luckett, at Aerogeomatics Inc.